Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the second episode of the second season of Isekai wa Smartphone to Tomoni. First episode was good, definitely very noticeable budget increase, like the animation, yeah you could definitely, not, it's not exactly subtle, but great to have Toya and the gang back and get to see his collection of wives slash Beyonce technically uh, continue to expand. Like I'm really looking forward to getting to meet some new ones in this season, so... Let's jump on in and see how much progress we make towards that end. So, three, two, one, play. I didn't hit it hard enough at first. Luckily, it's it's working. Okay. Ooh, a water watery board. Miss Mead, was that the uh, was that the animal people kingdom? <laughs> I like how, yeah, of course she gets excited over this kind of thing. Yeah, he does not care anywhere near as much as she does. <laughs> as expected. <laughs> she knows you at least, at least that well. <laughs> I think they want to hear more about the subject. Certainly possible. What? Oh, a giant uh, manta ray, Flat mechanical manta ray, magic mechan mechanical manta ray. That's a lot of M's in that sentence. Now that I think about it. Either way, we gotta take care of it. Opening. Opening. We'll take care of it after the opening. Magical mechanical manta ray. Magical mechanical manta ray. I feel like I'm gonna bite my tongue trying to say that. Or Kohaku on the bottom. Yeah, these are the other waifu candidates, I'm pretty sure. Real diamond. Really is a, really is a pretty good opening. Yeah, so many unfamiliar faces. The red-haired girl, I swear, looks like uh, the girl from Mushoku Tensei. Her name escapes me at the moment. But the red-haired tsundere girl from that show. Like the shot we get of her. The Stranded and the Workshop. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna shoot things. Uh, I hate when they shoot things. Was that Toya? Oh well, technically it was Elsa, but by extension it was Toya. Coming for us. I mean, hey, it could be worse, at least it's not a white whale. Oh, that was pretty hard. Don't you hear when your sword can't work on the enemy? Toya, don't make, don't let me fall, please. Thank you. That's such a useful ability. Both combat and day-to-day -day life, it's, it would be invaluable. Yeah, that thing's actually pretty tough. Oh, that's the uh, one guy, Ende. Yeah, I. <laughs> he showed up at the end of last season. I didn't remember his name, but I knew that's who it was.
I suppose it is. Oh, we're actually going to see what he can do. <laughs> Re really? I feel like you cheated somehow. He doesn't even have a smartphone. Is he picking up Dragon Balls? Oh. Well, okay. I guess we're fake Dragon Balls. He just broke everything. I Shows up out of nowhere. We gotta learn that. Okay, where where are the foreign things located? Like another world? I feel like there's some things I'm not quite grasping here. He's so sweet, he looks like a protagonist of a different anime. Yeah, I did, I did my part. Peace. I wish I had some water, actually. If only I had some. Rebecca. <laughs> ah, they're slaves. Okay. Adventure in his place. I've seen anime about that. Yeah, definitely I'm familiar with that concept in anime. I can, I mean, Toya might be able to do something about it. Because he knows all this void magic, you know. I think I think that's what it's called. <laughs> nah, Toya. Can you work your miracle Jesus powers to fix our problems? Oh yeah, I guess that was worth a try, and it worked. <laughs> well, there you go. You're welcome. So it doesn't change it much, really, but it's nice to have off. Yeah, she can recommend that country. <laughs> the princess. Any more questions? That's right, get down. Yeah, we can just get you there. No need to no need to walk the whole way. Just get the Toya treatment. <laughs> they were not ready for today. Just more women to live with them, you know. What? Oh, and, 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 uh, and, what, something like that? I'll get his name down eventually. Yeah. No, that's the only scene we had of him before. They became best friends for life. So yeah, more did have happen off screen. That makes more sense. Because in the show we had like what a fifteen second conversation with him. Neither did I, honestly. You sure sound like it. Okay, that is definitely a big deal. Definitely want to learn more about this character. Is he a time traveler? Like it was no big deal. <laughs> he 
Is the muffler the big, the big point? <laughs> I mean, it's impressive, but. Yeah, have we heard that word before this episode? I feel like we haven't. I remember that part. I definitely remember that, that look. I mean, I feel like phrase means something different to me than it does to you. I do kind of remember this story. I just, I guess I just didn't remember the word for it. But some of that definitely sounded familiar. Yeah, really, we really are ramping up the plot now, aren't we? <laughs> Isn't that how it always goes? Frame gears, that sounds cool. Is that like a Mega Musume type of like a gear setup? That'd be a pretty awesome. Well, let's check him out. You know, I've been here until you get so excited. <laughs> Maku Maku intensifies. Give, give it a minute. Or not. Okay, now I'll give it a minute. Temp tempestuous? That's a word. <laughs> the elders watch. Oh yeah, there's definitely something there. I mean, I guess you just... Let's go inside. Definitely looks like a ritual area, but yeah, probably a telepor teleporter. I guess it's, yeah, got an anti-magic uh, attachment to it. Yeah, so let's try using it, because I mean, if we can't get out, not much else you can do and move forward. So where exactly is this going to take us? I mean, I would assume obviously one of the Babylon thingies, but that still doesn't tell me a lot. Okay, yeah, definitely looks similar. Oh, oh, there we go. Dehani must. She's obviously, yeah, another one of what Francesca is. Yeah, the workshop. <laughs> Ro Ro Rosetta. Okay. <laughs> I love a Diarimas. It's been too long since I've seen a character that does that. Yeah, that's that's the one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it would speed things up, wouldn't it? Are we gonna see more Pansu? Cause I'm okay with that. 
Are we gonna get another kiss? Cause I'm lucky with that too. <laughs> okay, it's a challenge. <laughs> I'm gonna guess pink. <laughs> I'm sure he could. I mean, he could just do the uh, aparto, whatever it's called, to move it to him. She, she hasn't had anything to do for a while, man. I'm sick with pink. Is it gonna work? Uh, it doesn't seem to. Yeah, she still seems quite confident. And cute. Wow, what a... Maybe you could sell that skirt for a lot in Japan. Just burn it. Oh, Jimmy got to burn a girl's skirt. It doesn't work. <laughs> Can we just, like, use her hands to pull it up? <laughs> There's a sense. I'd probably block it like in that one cautious hero anime. As a dark void, like in the newest Atelier Rise of the Game. Okay. Now I'm just going to look forward to meeting the other ones too, because it's always so exciting. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, we, we knew this was coming. It was obviously the next step. Nowhere near as intense as the last one. That's a little bit disappointing. I wanted, like, 15 seconds of tongue and slap action, but oh well. Okay, check it out. I kind of like how things are made of tiny atoms, you know, with tiny pixels. The hyperbolic time chamber, I think. That's very useful. Right. As it should be. I do quite enjoy her. <laughs> Swoops out his trusty gun. And cotton candy. Who can? Ooh, shiny. Black and white. Sort of. This is some high tech stuff we got here. Ooh. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be shot by that. Uh. <laughs> it's essentially a factory, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what we came here, isn't it? Yeah. What was the name of that one anime? Frame arms gear or something like that. Because it kind of keeps making me think of that. I missed that show. Hm. 
well, the storehouse, and now we know where to go next. Yeah, everyone's probably wondering how you're doing. <laughs> Maybe getting a little bit worried. And there they are. They got to miss the kiss this time. <laughs> I mean, it is more useful, but it was a nice garden. She told you. Typical. <laughs> okay. He really is expanding his overall empire. <laughs> Let's do some docking. <laughs> I was I wasn't gonna clarify more, but yeah, that's what I was getting at. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cecile, Cecile, however you say that name, Cecile. Yeah. It's cute. But Toya-sama, you are our Lord and Savior. <laughs> I guess she just stands there smiling. <laughs> Playing with, uh, I don't remember that thing's name. The turtle snake hybrid thingy. Let them breathe underwater. <laughs> You have to work in my factory. <laughs> Almost reminds me how you and I put people to work in Kuma 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 Bear. To specifically put our friends to work. What? Really? Just did. Well, I guess the episode's over. Yeah. I forgot we had the, the bears with their. The wife whose respective hair colors, which still looks funny. Like it really does. And they all have phones for some reason, so is that supposed to foreshadow Toya will get them their own phones? Which would be nice, you definitely want to get into one big Discord group with all of them so you can stay on the same page with all of your wives. Very important to do. Because they clearly all have phones, so. If I wouldn't be as, you know, like, powerful as Toya's, I wouldn't expect them to. But. They could still function as phones, right? If Toya uses modeling and uh, programming, he could definitely make a device that's essentially a real world smartphone, more or less. He could do it, so. That might be what that's for, Shadow one. And the light green haired girl looks so familiar to me. Okay, just waved a goodbye by the um there. So that was the second episode of the second season of the Sakai Smartphone Smartphone Harem Waifu anime. So we start off with uh with um I remember her name, Keen, right? Lean, that was close. Lean, yeah. So, uh, she's excited to do more Babylon stuff, right? So, you know, we go into the middle of the desert, meet up with a giant scary monster, fail to defeat that monster, and then End Ed just does it like it's no big deal while dropping a lot of things and make it clear what an important, interesting character he is. Like, there's clearly a lot going on with him. This ancient currency, 
He has knowledge about barriers and phrases and whatnot. Like, clearly an important character going forward. Which is surprising because he's male, but, you know, I guess anything's possible in life. I meet up with some people with slave collars. We just pop them off, like, you know, because we're Atoya. That's how we roll. Bring them back to our place. <laughs> we're essentially, yeah, become their savior, and they're all very, very grateful. Even have the princess also give her blessing, have them come over to her country. <laughs> it's all, it's all good. But could you imagine one day, like, you're on this dangerous exodus through the deserts, slave collars, and you get attacked by a monster, you think it's all over, and suddenly somebody shows up, defeats the monster, pops off your collars, and teleports you right immediately to, to, to where you need to go instead of having to walk all the way there. That would be such a mind-blowing day that you would never in a million years expect from their perspective. Because as the audience, of course, we're not too surprised by that because we already know about Toya and everything, but if you try to put yourself in their perspective, you would realize just, yeah, what, how, how unbelievable of a day that must be for them. But that was around the first half. My headphone is complaining that it's low battery. But anyway, we, uh, we got that all figured out because we wanted to go to the factory or, uh, workshop whatever they called it to get some cool gear thing and we we got it all set up just got to go to our like a second real babylon location which which yeah i figured would meet would mean meeting another well, another francesca or like you know another iteration of her right because each one has to have one so i was really looking really looking forward to that and the show did not disappoint <laughs> like the one we got was a very fun you know Fun, why? Fun, how was that? Was her name? Yeah. She's very fun, excitable, very different than Francisca, right? You know, but um, also had a challenge, you know, guessing the Pansu and all that. Luckily, he, he won in the end. The, the wind did not work, the fire did not work. In the end, he uses his long sense. I want to look at the animation for that again. Yeah, basically all we really see is a black void for the most part. Oh, it's mostly just the front. In the back, you see kind of the, um, you know, that that segment. Which, although it's still kind of dark, I guess you can kind of tell. You, basically, you can see enough to be able to tell that, yeah, you can, you can see through it. Yeah, colorless, transparent. Because basically they made it as mostly dark, but just enough that, yeah, you could tell that it was... Transparent, because he obviously saw more than we did as the audience, because, you know, this is Japanese anime, we can't see exactly what's under there, even in an 18-plus show, so can't can't be showing that. Theoretically, they could throw out the mosaic, but probably wouldn't do that for a show like this. But Toyek saw the full-on goods, that's all we know. We can just have to use our imagination to fill in the blanks. The must. But, yeah, cool that we now have access to a factory and stuff. So, looking forward again to see more, more, unlock more areas, unlock more waifus. That's kind of the, the season we're in, right? <laughs> unlock more Babylon locations, unlock more waifus. So, hopefully we can make more progress on that next time. So, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.